welcome to the Just Xander Podcast. I'm your host, Xander Gray, and this is episode 33. That's how old I am. Yes. Um, It's been a while. I know that it's been a while. It's been a pretty hectic, hectic time uh, in my life. Let me just uh, fix this real quick. There we go. And hectic in a good way. It's just been, I've just been busy, you know, restructuring stuff. Uh, just trying to do more of the things that I enjoy a little bit more and figuring out stuff with other people. Uh, again, to go back on the last pod, we can't do a lot of the things that we want to do alone, right? Um, and this is a perfect example for music. Like you can create a song alone for sure. You can write a song alone for sure. If you have all the equipment, you can... Mix, produce, master, everything on your own, 100%. Yes, yes, yes. But if you need help with any of the things like collaborating and um, inspiration or uh, a way to share your music, stuff like that, you can't do it alone, right? And, you know, I don't know why. I I really don't know why it took me this long to understand that. Because I've been disappointed plenty of times, but we talked about, I talked about expectation, managing my expectations, managing my validation and all that good stuff. But I've gotten to a point where I like, I feel like I shouldn't have to lower my expectations. You know, I got, I've gotten to a point where I shouldn't have to do anything that I don't want to do. And that's that goes with everybody in their in their lives you know we shouldn't have to do anything that we don't want to do i albeit responsibility and life might take you uh somewhere that you might not have when you you have to do what you don't want to do but i'm just i'm just speaking very 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 generally right like we have a choice i have a choice of not having to do whatever I don't want to do. So, but that's not really the episode, what the episode is about today. I kind of want to talk about fear, you know, the good and bad of fear. Like, what are we afraid of, right? Are we afraid of success? Are we afraid of, of, of risking certain things, uh, in the hopes that we might be successful, what's the fear, you know, um, fear of doing something uncomfortable, that if you get through that fear, that's just another wall, another barrier that you can overcome, like, what is it, what, as you get older, and again, a lot of this, I'm speaking for myself, as you get older, you are afraid to do certain things in life, just because, of what you either have accumulated or there's a lot that you can lose, right? You can lose money, you can lose your family members, you can lose friends, you can lose a lot of things in your life. That's why most people, including myself, we are afraid to do certain things because we don't want to risk what we have. And I understand that. I completely understand that. A lot of things that I've done in my life it took me a while to kind of step over that barrier and step ahead of that that fear. And fear of uncomfortability, fear of not being not being happy, fear of failure, fear uh, all of it. But once you get through again, this is generalized, but once you get through that fear that you have of anything, once you get through that, then if it were to happen again, you're not afraid of it. You know, once it happened again, you're like, oh, I've been through this. That make any sense. I feel like I'm not trying to speak in generalities, but I'm, I'm, I'm working on finding an example. Okay. One example in my life, right? I used to work for the government. I used to work Um, At the shipyard in Bremerton, I was a painter and I worked my way through the apprenticeship 
um, a four year apprenticeship or whatever. And I went on the nuke side, the nuclear side. So I was a nuclear painter. Um, it's not as cool as extravagant as you think it is. It's just more paperwork. Um, you you deal with more paperwork and that you really have to look into your job and see if that particular project or that particular work is safe to do and stuff like that. It really is just what it is. Um, you, you have tons of paperwork just to paint, paint a little beam or a spot or whatever. Um, so I got out of that job. I worked there for five and a, five and a half years and I just wasn't happy. I wasn't fulfilled. Uh, I felt, again, I was making really good money, but I just wasn't where I needed to be or wanted to be. I was also at the time was also uh, in a band. I was also touring. I was also doing a lot of things on the side. It affected my life. It affected my personal life. It affected everything, right? Uh, my health was, wasn't that good either. And this was before I was, I went vegan. Um, and we can talk about that later, but I've been vegan for over three years now, I think. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's another episode. Um, if you didn't know that it's not really important, but just, uh, just a little an anecdote, you know? And so I was struggling for two years. I was looking for other jobs. Like, should I, I should I, uh, not get like get promoted or am I trying to move to a different, um, work thing? Like it's still in the shipyard, but like a different code, different shop. You know what I mean? Um, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, but just a different department is what I'm trying to find. And I, found this job and applied for this job and I was making this much, you know, at the shipyard, I was making over 30 bucks an hour. And then I got a job down to 11 bucks an hour. Truth be told, that's, that's the honest truth. I went from that to that. And I told myself, man, this sucks. This is going to hurt. I'm not going to be able to buy certain things or spend on certain things. Thank God I had my wife supporting me and she had a decent job at the time. And she said that if this is going to make you happy, if this moving on towards this is going to um, be better for you, then let's do it. We can figure everything out. And just knowing that I was able to do that really helped the situation. You know, I was afraid man I was there's that fear like oh man I made this much money but now I'm not gonna make any money you know um so I did the thing we did the thing that we could was just kind of go through our finances and just like okay don't need that get rid of that don't need this get rid of this don't need this another guitar I don't need a, a different amp or whatever sell 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 um so I got rid of a lot of things in my life that that I didn't need. And and I did that job. I got hired at that job, just building guitar parts or whatever. And then I worked my way up to a decent amount. And, and then I was trying to do more of than just building to just maybe get into marketing and media stuff. I got interested in doing video stuff because I couldn't afford to hire a videographer to do any of my music videos. You know, you know what? I just do it myself. And I got sparked some ideas of just uh, of concepts of music videos that I've done. And I start editing them and then starting to fall in love in uh, video editing and chopping things up and sli splicing, uh, splicing things up in video on Premiere of uh, iMovie, Final Cut, you know, stuff like that. And I just start learning, start enjoying it. And I just kind of realized in my life that if I really wanted to do something, I just have to give myself a chance to do it. And if I don't like it, that's okay. I'm just going to move on from it. And again, I did all this with fucking fear in my heart. But I had to, but my... Ambition and drive kind of outweighed the fear that I had. 
in my in myself. You know, I had to overcome it. And another example, I've never been afraid of flying, but then as I got older, I just got uncomfortable flying. I just don't know why I, I do. Maybe the fear of, not the fear of death, just the fear, maybe the fear of the, I'm not going to be able to live my life to the fullest and achieve the things that I need to achieve. And that scares the shit out of me, you know, to not, to not be able to leave a legacy behind. So... What I'm saying is right now is being afraid is okay. Being afraid to do anything is okay. Fear is uh, is real. I think what we do to overcome it, what we do to to get to where we what uh, to where we need to be is we have to overcome that fear. You know, we have to overcome that man just You know, I, I do not envy, I just admire like young entrepreneurs. I, I admire young people that just go after what they want, man. They're just like, hey, I want to fucking play video games for the rest of my life. I want to keep doing it until I make money. Man, the, the, the young people now are so entrepreneurial, most of them. And they're so good with money and selling stuff or so good with like navigating life sometimes you know and again i'm the same way when i was younger you just you just assume that when you're young you're just like i fucking know everything i you know i don't need no fucking help man i gotta respect that I gotta gotta admire that that drive and now as you get older the fear builds up in you to kind of do I want to do that? Or am I good enough to do that? You know, and I know a lot of friends and a lot of uh, artists are, that are afraid to put themselves out there and be afraid to be vulnerable, including myself. It's it's so, it's a lot when you have to decide how much you want to put yourself on social media and how much you want to be genuine or authentic and, and asking for help, asking for people to listen, asking for, that's a lot to do, you know? And most people don't do it because they're so uh, doubtful of themselves. Again, speaking speaking about myself here, I'm not uh, speaking on other people. It's just you 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 tend to be afraid to do what you need to do or do what makes you happy or what you enjoy because you 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 have such a high expectation of yourself and that that you want people to like you, you want people to love you, you want people to listen to your shit, you want people to to encourage you and validate you and all that stuff. You want to be able to do this forever and make money and and live your life. Hey, if I get to do this and make $30,000 a year or, or, or $40,000 or $50,000 a year or whatever, which isn't much, fuck, man, I'll be happy, you know? I don't need an extravagant life. I just want to be able to enjoy it. I just want to be able to do what I'm good at and get paid for it. That's not the ultimate goal, right? Um, it's working towards that. And I, I think that's okay to have that goal to have is to to do what you love and get paid for it. Like, that's not a lot to ask for. And... And I, I, it's annoying when people say, well, if you you enjoy it, you, should, you shouldn't have to worry about getting paid for it. I'm like, fuck that. Like, if I enjoy doing it and I'm fucking good at it, I should get paid for it, you know? I understand um, paying your dues. I understand um, doing things over and over again, doing things for free in the beginning. Uh, because you want to get your name out there, you want to get your chops in. One hundred percent, you should do that. You, you know, you should and you you must do that. But after a while, like people shouldn't have to take advantage of you. Like you deserve better. Like if you do anything in your life and you're fucking good at it, you should get paid for it. Like you know, compensate it a little bit. You know what I mean? Like 
I see a lot of entrepreneurs. I see a lot of artists like they're good at something, but they're so afraid to to charge the amount. And I understand because it's like it's hard to ask, you know. It's hard to to put your foot down. Like, nah, man, I need this much to do this. It's hard because you don't want to burn any bridges. You don't want to. be an asshole, you know, pretty much. So you end up doing stuff and then feeling sorry for yourself because you, you, you're like, man, I worked so hard to do this, but I just can't get paid for it or whatever. You know, again, I, I, look, I don't get paid doing what I do. The things that I get paid for are a little bit of freelancing. I do maybe on the side and I work some video media stuff for a tattoo shop right now, currently. I get paid doing that, and it's awesome. For the music stuff, I don't get paid doing that. And that's okay, I'm working towards it, right? I'm, I'm working on doing samples and selling them, but 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 the samples, because I'm so new to it, I'm trying to get better at it, and then it's more like a tip thing, right? Like if I give it to producers or give it to people, if they want to tip me, dope. If they don't want to tip me, that's okay. You know, use it, enjoy the samples that I've done. And with music, it's just getting better at it, getting better at it, and then releasing music for 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 people to enjoy. And it's, a, it's an accomplishment for me that I created a song from start to finish and then did a music video for it, did a story behind it, and then promoted it and put it out there. You know, that I respect anybody that could do that. It takes so much out of you to do one song, to actually believe in yourself enough to, to create a song, start to finish, to write a story behind it and releasing that. It takes a lot of confidence to do all that. And then hopefully people listen to it. Hopefully people fuck with it. You know, if they don't, then you move on to the next. You keep, you keep banging them out, banging it out, writing the song out, putting it out there. You know, that's why a lot of artists that I know around here they're scared to do it. They're scared to put themselves out there. And I fucking, like, I I completely understand. I'm right there with them. But at what point, at what point fear is going to hold you back from doing the fucking thing that you need to do? At what point? At what point that you get to a point in your life where you're like, you know what? I'm done. You know, at what point? Have to overcome it, my friends. You have to, like, if you're afraid to do something that that means you know 100% you need to do it. And and I'm in that battle with you. I'm in there with you. I'm doing that with you. There's some, there are days where I avoid playing music. I avoid creating music because I know the heartbreak that goes with it, you know? And, and just artists in general, when you put yourself out there, nothing... Nobody likes it. Nobody, I know it doesn't matter, but it fucking does sometimes, man. I'll tell you the truth. It fucking does matter sometimes. You put yourself out there and you get nothing back. And you just have to calm yourself, gather yourself, and then you do another piece. Because the more you do it, the more you move on from it, the better you're going to get. You're going to be so good. You'll be an undeniable that's the goal is to be undeniable. You get so good at doing what you do, doing what you love. Nobody can say shit about it. And I, I hope that for all of my friends out there, I hope that for all of the artists out there, when you love something, you keep fucking doing it no matter what. Because the fire, you have to keep, you have to keep, you know, feeding that fire. That fire is what makes you unique. That fire makes you alive. That fire makes you strong, you know, in, in a good way, in a good way. I know we're not supposed to do things for likes. We're not supposed to do things for followers. We're not supposed to do things. But it's not about that. We're doing this because we we enjoy it. We're doing this because we have to. We're doing this because we care. We love it. And we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep doing it until there's nothing left in the tank. We're going to keep doing it. You know what I mean? But also, 
give yourself a chance, give yourself time to fail, give yourself a chance to recover, give yourself a chance to breathe and take the loss, take the L, and then move on to the next. I think if if you do anything in your life, as long as it, if it's genuine, authentic, and it's full of good, great intention and love and passion, I fucking swear to you, you can't go wrong. Anyway, overcome your fear, escape that loop. And by what I mean by what I mean by that is uh, I want to go back to philosophy and Buddhism. So the loop is it's called samsara, okay? So you live your life in, in, in Buddhism in Buddhist culture life is suffering, right? And we know that. That's part what of the noble truth, part of the four noble truth. Um that anything you do in life, it's suffering, it's dissatisfaction. It's not, it's it's it also, anyway, it goes deep. But you want to live a full, fulfilled life because they believe in reincarnation, okay? So you want to live a full, fulfilled life. So when you die, you're not going to be reincarnated into something else or into someone else and then relive that over and over again. So is that loop in your life. Um, so what I'm saying is escape that loop. What I mean to say is live your life the best that you can, excuse me, with great, great, powerful intention, full of love, full of passion, full of positivity, and shit's going to come your way, obviously. Bad things are going to come your way, obviously, but it's what you do after, man. You are in control of it. I believe in you, and... I believe in myself. I believe that I can do what I need to do for myself. And I hope that I can help other people achieve their greatness too, or at least lead by example. You know, that's the best that I can do. Um, so anyway, uh, I went on a little tangent, but but overcome your fear and escape that loop. Escape the loop. Uh, I love you all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time. Again, this this episode has been sporadic just because I'm 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 getting I'm working on getting uh, used to the schedules and everything and you know responsibilities that I have, and but I am grateful. I am 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 in a good place. I am very content with my life and I'm working on exceeding my expectation and I'm working on living my life as full as can be. And you should too, and you you must. That is your responsibility. Anyway, thank you for listening. You can find me at Just Xander. I kind of got rid of the podcast Instagram and the podcast on Facebook. You can just follow me at Xander Gray uh, on Facebook. That's my just page for music and podcast. I just I just want to put it in one. I think it's easier because that's that's the brand. I'm the brand. So. Uh, go ahead and find me on at just Xander on Instagram. Everything else is at just Xander Gray, Gray Z, uh, Xander with the Z, Gray with an E. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Feel free to come at me. Uh, agree, disagree stuff. It's all good. We'll have a conversation. We'll have fun doing it. And we'll have a good talk doing it. And uh, again, thank you for listening. Peace. Oh my love.